Hello, Cancer. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your general energy reading. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. Please keep in mind, Cancer, that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is also a timeless reading, so this is not going to or doesn't have to resonate for you at any specific time in your life. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that is the message for you in that moment yes please make sure to like share comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already if you would like to uh support the channel and get some extra content with me throughout the month check us out on patreon the link to that can be found in the description box below and as always i am available for private readings if you would like to get a private reading with me you can also check the description box below for a list of the readings that i offer and my email address shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and i will get you all set up yeah all right cancer for my cancerians my cancers sun moon rising venus and north node what messages do we have for cancer at this time one last shuffle for you, Cancer, and we'll see what we've got. All right, what's going on for Cancer? What message do we have for Cancer at this time, please, Spirit? Okay, first card you have here is the Six of Swords. All right, so you're definitely moving forward here. Um, this is moving forward after a long, arduous battle. I'm hearing uh, something that you're very relieved to be moving forward in terms of. Next card you have is the Hanged Man. Yes. Um, some of you, there is, there's a little feeling of potentially moving forward with your tail between your legs. Um, you may have gone through a tough experience. You may have learned a really tough lesson. But ultimately, Cancer, I feel like as you're moving forward here, you're very happy to be doing so. You have, the next card you have is the High Priestess. And then at the bottom of the deck, you do have the Lovers. Okay. Uh... All right, moving forward uh, with mystery <laughs> is what I just heard. Um, you are moving forward here. That is for sure. Um, this hanged man en energy is very interesting for you. I'm getting so many different things here, Cancer. I'm getting um, mystery, yes. I'm getting a, a sense of wonder, a sense of what actually, what just actually happened. I feel like you're still coming to terms with a lot of what you may have been experiencing, what you may have been going through in this time period as you're moving forward. It's not like you're moving forward with a sense of clarity. It's like you're moving forward and as you move forward, things are becoming clear over time or you're starting to understand things more or uh, things are still a bit of a mystery to you right now. Some of you, it kind of feels like some of you still, like your heads are still spinning from the decision that you made. Overall energy is the lover's. And some of you are actually feeling like you're not quite sure if you actually made the right decision. Not quite sure if you made the right decision, although the thing about it is maybe you were rushed into this decision or you felt rushed into this decision. I will tell you, I will say that ultimately whatever you've chosen is the right thing for you because I do feel in this hanged man energy even though there's still a lot of confusion, even though there's still some things that you're still trying to come to terms with, ultimately, I do feel like you've made the right decision somehow. And I kind of feel like you feel that too, but you're not exactly sure why. And you're definitely not sure how things are going to work out for you in the future. So part of the energy is like, well, wait, did I really make the right decision? But I think you did. I really do think you did because the energy that I'm getting from the lovers here is basically it's all it's your decision. It, it's your life. You get to choose whatever it is is best for you. OK, let's talk about this hanged man. Can you clarify this hanged man for the for cancer, please? Spirit? Eight of Pentacles. OK, um, even when I was. Uh, looking at I was reading, I was um, tapping into the lovers energy. Yes, the lovers is about a choice. It could also be about a romantic situation. For some of you, I do feel like this has been a romantic situation. It doesn't have to be romantic for all of you, but I am kind of picking up on that for some of you. I mean, I am reading for Cancer Venus in this situation, so take it as it resonates. Uh, so far, what I'm getting with the Eight of Pentacles, regardless as to whether this was a romantic situation or not, Cancer, 
Um, what I'm getting with the Eight of Pentacles right now is that you put time, attention, and effort into something that it seems that you are moving away from now. Or, interestingly enough, what I'm getting is that you, you have put time, attention, and effort into something, Eight of Pentacles, and you're moving forward. You're moving forward with this situation in a way that is going to change it, develop it more. It's like you're moving, some of you feels like you're moving forward with the same situation in your hands. However, it's about to be different. It's about to shape shift. It, it's about to transform. Clarify the, uh, the hanged man, please. Yeah, see, look at that, death. Look at that. There's that transformation. There's that shape shifting. There's the, the death to the page of cups. Um, okay, if this is a romantic situation for you, you are moving forward away from a certain romantic situation, but you're moving, but the, the time, attention, effort, and energy you have put into that relationship has not gone to waste cancer, even though it may seem that way at this point, it has not gone to waste. Yes, I understand you're leaving that relationship behind, but the effort that you put into that is translating into what it is you have learned and how it is you have developed, grown, and transformed because of this, okay? And now you get to move forward with a better relationship understanding under your belt. You get to move forward towards what, it's almost as if a dream or a wish is being granted to you at this time. This Page of Cups energy is saying, is giving me this feeling of um, wish fulfillment or understanding more about what it is you dream of, understanding more about what it is you want out of relationship. I really feel like some sort of wish is being fulfilled for you as you move forward here. Overall energy is the two of pentacles. So right now, in terms of this hanged man energy, in terms of trying to make sense of what's going on here, I don't know if that's, well, okay, what I just heard is I don't know if that's all that much possible, that's all too possible right now. Okay, maybe you don't, maybe you're not supposed to make sense of this right now, Cancer. Maybe you're just supposed to move forward. I really truly feel like you're really just supposed to move forward at this time and keep your eye on the prize or keep a clear understanding of what it is you've been working towards for so long and let the universe work the details out for you, this high priestess energy. Okay, so overall energy for the two of, uh, I'm sorry, for the hanged man is the two of pentacles. That's about juggling sometimes, but in this situation, it feels like you're trying to keep, just, just focus on keeping the balance, okay? Focus on balancing your checkbooks or balancing your mind, your emotions, keeping your physical body in check or in balance, just keeping your day-to-day -day life in balance as you move forward here, all right? The high priestess is next. Um... I want to see what the High Priestess has to say for you at this moment. Clarify the High Priestess for Cancer, please, Spirit. The Hermit. Okay, so um, the universe or the High Priestess here is asking you to remain calm and re remain steadfast in your own direction where your, your inner light is guiding you towards. It's a bit of an unknown situation for you right now, but what the high priest is, say is saying, as always, you don't really need to know all of the details. What you really need to do is just continue to focus on your inner light, the guidance that comes from your in your intuition, okay? Because it's led you this far, this far already, so you need to just continue with that. You have the two of swords with that and the eight of swords with that. That's very interesting. And then the five of swords. Oops. Um, I keep hitting the camera. Um, this is interesting. You have the Hermit, the Two of Swords, the Eight of Swords. Overall energy is the Five of Swords. I really, uh, uh, okay, so other than the fact that these are really negative cards, Two of Swords, Eight of Swords, Five of Swords, Really, all this is telling me is just confirming the fact that you need to continue listening to your inner, I just heard your inner child, um, your inner light. Don't focus externally. If you were to focus externally right now, um, you would potentially get all wrapped up in the same old, in um, what used to be. You may slip back into that mindset that had kept you trapped that you seem to be moving away from at this point. 
do not focus externally at all. Like I really don't even want to talk about these these energies any more than don't focus externally. It's a trap. Okay? It's a trap. It's it's meant to or 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 it will only help to derail you. I don't like I don't like this energy. Okay? But I feel like the what I what I also what I feel like this is saying cancer is the more that you try to define what's going on externally to you, the more and more you're going to get wrapped up or roped into negative mindsets, negative self-beliefs, and that's really all another reason why you need to just focus on your inner light. You may also want to be in some sort of hermit mode right now. I really feel like in, in terms of this energy here, don't, don't, you really don't want to be involved with too many people. You don't want to get your energy all, you know, wrapped up in theirs, in their drama, in their own circumstances. You really may want to keep to yourself right now. Okay. And I'm not saying any of this to scare any of you. It's just, I'm not getting anything clear from this. Two of swords, eight of swords, five of swords. I'm not getting anything clear from that. And the more you try to define it, the more you just work yourself into a frenzy, the more of a lose-lose situation it becomes. You really just need to put down your swords. Try, stop trying to define things and focus on your inner light. Focus on what your intuition is guiding you towards. You're not going to be able to make sense of what's going on in the external right now. Point blank, period. You're not going to. So don't focus there any longer, okay? Last thing I want to look at for you, Cancer, is the Six of Swords. Uh, clarify the Six of Swords for Cancer. The Ace of Swords. Look at this. Okay? Focus on moving forward. Focus on the truth within you. Focus on your inner light. Because whatever it is you're doing to move forward, or however it is you're moving forward, that is the truth. And you know it's the truth. Again, you may not be able to, t to tell me or tell somebody else why exactly it is the truth. But you know it's the truth. And that's all that matters. Because go back to that lover's energy that, that was at the bottom of the deck, Cancer. It doesn't matter what anyone else has to say about it. It's your life. It's your choice. If you know this is the right thing for you to do, if you know this is the truth for you, then that is really all that matters. Clarify the Six of Swords, please. King of Pentacles. Anything else for the Six of Swords? The Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands has come out in reverse, though. But the Spirit is saying to take it upright. I really do want to take it upright. Because what I'm hearing with this Queen of Wands energy is that your, your, your alignment is on point. And maybe this Queen of Wands came out in reverse, Cancer, because you are, you're doubting your alignment. You are wondering if this is the right thing for you to do. Many of you may be working on moving forward towards greater financial stability. But really the overall, the, the, the big message that I get from this King of Pentacles energy for you, Cancer, is you being very solid, stable, and grounded within yourself. You knowing what, exactly what is, it, what is right for you to do at this time. You taking action in the proper or in the appropriate manner for you to receive what is in direct alignment with you or what it is you are in direct alignment with. I see this as a balance, a harmony, and a union of the, between the masculine and the feminine within you. Your spirituality, your spiritual side, your creativity, your passion is flowing well with your physical reality, with your physical follow through, with your commitment to whatever it is you dream of or whatever it is you're in alignment with. Okay? Overall energy is the Knight of Wands. This is excitement. This is exuberance. This is passion. I'm also getting a Sagittarian energy from the Knight of Wands, which makes sense. Uh, for me as a reader, the Knights and the Pages represent the... Uh, mutable energies in, in case of the fire signs that would be the knight of wands or i'm sorry that would be uh, sagittarius but there's also a level of philosophy greater understanding coming to a higher understanding of something that that the knight of wands is representing for you i do feel like you learned something you've gained some sort of wisdom 
some sort of knowledge. It might be some sort of occult knowledge or occult understanding. You may have come to some sort of spiritual, a certain level of spiritual awakening in which you are moving forward with a certain technique, a certain practice, a certain understanding. And, but, but what I'm getting with this is that you can't necessarily explain it to other people, but you know it works for yourself. So there may be some people around you or maybe there may be some energies around you or maybe this may be your own self kind of looking at you thinking, oh, how foolish is cancer to be moving forward in this way? But it's not foolish if you're following your intuition, if you're following your heart, okay? Very interesting, cancer. Very, very interesting. Mm. Okay, hold on a second. One last thing. This king of pentacles may represent a partner that you are moving away from. And that's also why this queen of wands may have come out in reverse. Okay, whether this is an actual man or this is a masculine individual, uh, someone that is dominantly masculine, or this is someone that's very, very materialistic. You are no longer in alignment with this individual. Queen of wands is reversed. And you know that for a fact. The truth is there. In that case, this is not something you need to question any longer. You need to just move forward with it. And that Knight of Wands energy feels like excitement to get away from the situation. Yep. There was nothing else that you could do. Now going back to the High Priestess here. Even if you don't necessarily understand what's next for you, even if you can't completely put your finger on why you moving forward like this is the best thing for you to do, Cancer. Okay? Ultimately, you have got to continue following your inner light that is gaining, that is bringing you advice from the universe, your intuition from your higher self, whatnot, whatever, because the situations you are moving away from were, were restrictive. Someone was in denial and it was causing restriction. And then the five of swords was at the bottom of the deck when I pulled this side of the reading. It was a lose-lose situation. There are no other questions to ask at that point. Just let it go and walk away. Okay, you're doing the right thing, Cancer. You're very, very much doing the right thing here. All right. Okay, let's get you some closing oracle guidance. I'm hearing to get this from the Love Your Inner Goddess Oracle. Yeah? <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to take this one. It just came right out and it feels so perfect. So I'm just gonna take it. It's card number 22 and it's free spirit. Alrighty. In a reading, this card says, Oof. when you, well, when we have an active imagination, we can forget to use it for dreams and instead let it create nightmares. There is something that you've been worrying about. There's no need to torment yourself. Let go of any thoughts, attitudes, or beliefs that are based in fear. They are not helpful, necessary, or accurate. Everything has a positive and loving purpose, even if we cannot see or know what it is straight away. You'll find a loving solution comes to you easily and at the perfect time as you choose to avoid uh, as you excuse me as you choose as you choose to avoid as you choose to avoid fearful thinking let yourself be free to feel positive about your future and know that everything is going to be okay excellent so there you have it, Cancer. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the description box below where you will find uh, a list of the readings that I offer at my email address. Just shoot me an email. Let me know you're interested and I will be more than happy to get you hooked up. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. The, both of those can be found in the description box below. And if you would like to get extra content with me throughout the month and help to support the channel, check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. Without my Patreoners, I would not be able to be here. So thank you all so much for being a part of Patreon, yeah? 
I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic day and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye.